Oh, an accolade we are all desperately hoping for is a series win against a rampant Australia. We proved in PE that we've certainly got the arsenal to do it. We had the opportunity to catch up with some big guns and get their take on exactly what's going to unfold on what looks like an inclement Newlands wicket. Let's get the lowdown. Newlands will be a buzz tomorrow as the Proteas take on Australia in the third and final test match, with the scores even at 1-1. With nothing to separate the sides, this could be the test match of the year. It's been a very interesting series. I mean, everybody thought in, after Centurion, South Africa got no way. They're gonna, they'll never come back from this, and, and they bounce back, and there we are. So we won all. Everything to play for uh, at Newlands. I'm sure there'll be a great crowd there, and it'll be a, a fantastic cricket match. After being defeated convincingly by 281 runs, in the first test, the Proteas bounced back to win the second by 231 runs. Cricket commentator Robin Jackman believes South Africa just might have the edge over the Australians. I don't know what it is about us. We, we, we never seem to start a series well. And uh, we didn't start it well at Centurion. And, and, and we got a hiding, and rightly so, probably. Mitchell Johnson was unbelievable in that game. And Mornay Morkel and Dale Stane in particular were unbelievable at uh, St George's Park just the other day on a pitch that was pretty flat and almost negated the Australian attack. And we found something in it um, through, you know, a lot of aggression and gave back a bit of what we got in the previous test match. And that now it's all set up perfectly for Newlands. And, and there's no reason why South Africa shouldn't go on and win this series. We, we play well at Newlands. Australian coach Darren Lehman will be looking for a strong response from his players after their loss in Port Elizabeth. Darren, welcome to South Africa. Congratulations on a stellar season so far. We're looking at what was a mini collapse of sorts. Where is the mindset of the players at the moment? Well, obviously we would like to play a lot better, uh, I suppose. The same as South Africa after the first test. So, yeah, get ready for what's going to be a great final test match here at Newlands. And it's going to be a, a great test match and we've got to bounce back well. We don't worry about what's happened in the past. So, you know, that test match just gone is gone. We've obviously dealt with it. We've moved on now. It's getting prepared for, you know, a very important test match here in Cape Town. And, and look, you always Always look to the future and we're up against one of the best teams in the world so for us we've got to play well. Cape Town born paceman Vernon Philander will be a major threat to the Aussies on the quick Newlands pitch. You know Newlands always have something day one and two in the wicket uh, you know hopefully we can move it around myself, Dale, Mornay and, and obviously you know you're, you know, you're, you know, you're the next in line seamer so yeah seeing forward to that and hopefully we can impress the fans again. History shows how good the Protea side is and you know they showed in PE that they can bounce back. I don't think there are too many other sides in the world that bounce back from a defeat like they did in the first. They're two sides that are so difficult to separate. So it's about who plays the better cricket on the day. And you know again, the two world class sides, very little uh, between them. Get behind the Proteas as they look to win the series and retain their number one ranking in Test cricket. You can catch all the action on SABC3 tomorrow morning.